Hey nesters, welcome back to my channel, Nesting Haven. Today I am going to share with you a Salvation Army thrift haul. I would like to apologize for this coming up a few days later than I intended, but I did have some things come up in my family. We had a few issues this week, so this year, I'm telling you, has been the worst year. So we're trying to get through it, looking forward to 2020, and hopefully we can move onward and upward. And we will leave it at that. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I picked up was these really cool plaques and they have a set of owls on them. They do match, but they are just slightly different. So, you know, it's not two of the same thing. So I thought they were really cute. They're probably from around the 1970s. And I paid, I believe, $2.99 a piece for them. And I think I can get about $30, maybe $35 for the set of them with shipping already included in the price. So yeah, I thought those were pretty fun. So when I was on my way up to check out at the cash register, I looked at the jewelry that was near there. And I found this one really beautiful necklace that stood out to me. And I thought it looked really nice, especially this time of year in the fall. It has very beautiful colors. It has kind of this red orange in the center here, and then it's kind of a gold emblem around it. And I thought it, it kind of reminded me of the fall Halloween season and could definitely run in through Christmas where it is kind of that more red color as well. So yeah, I thought this was really gorgeous. It has a nice chain. It is a lighter chain. It looks heavy, but it's not too bad weight wise. This is marked on the back copyrighted Sarah Cove, which I think is a somewhat well-known brand. And on the back of this, it actually has like a little clip that you can attach it to your shirt so it doesn't like toss around all day long because it is a little bit heavier. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. I paid $4.99 for this and then I think I can get about $20 to maybe $22 for it with free shipping included in the price. I picked up this set of five, is it five? Yeah, five coasters and these are kind of lucid and they have this press dried flower inside of it and they're all different which seemed fun they're they're all taped together so i didn't get a good look at what they were exactly but i only paid 99 cents for the set of five here and i'm hoping there's nothing that's too damaged inside because like i said it is all taped together so we'll go ahead and unwrap it and take a better look at these here and see what we actually ended up with Sorry, that took a little bit longer than I expected. I guess they thought they might fly away. They had them taped down pretty well. Now, the first one here is actually some cloves, some shamrocks, and it has like this little blue flower. It might have been a forget-me-not even. And there's a couple other ones in there. So that is that one there. This one, I'm not sure what flowers those would have been, but it's kind of pretty. It's kind of maybe, I was going to say maybe a sunflower like a tiny what what looks like a sunflower that's like this tiny I don't know <laughs> that's way too small for a sunflower these look like little roses I'm not sure if there are roses that tiny as well but I guess there's miniature versions of everything this one possibly could have been a dianthus or something looks about the size there and I'm not sure what these ones are either, but very pretty. One's like a purpley blue, and then there's one that's a pink. So very, very cute. I do need to clean them up a little bit. Some of the tape residues on it. Overall, they seem to be in pretty good condition. It's fun that they're lucid, and I think I can get probably about maybe $25 for the set of five of them. I also purchased a couple of tins. I'm always drawn to the tins. They make so many that are just so unique and just fun and they're always great to store things in, you know, to keep junk at bay. So this one here reminded me of ones that I collect myself. I collect the English biscuit tins that are usually floraled like this. And I think you guys have seen me haul those before, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, I might even have a picture up on my Instagram. I'll have to double check. If I don't, I'll try to get a picture up. You guys can follow me over there and check it out. It's just Nesting Haven there as well. 
This is a Meester made in Brazil 10 and I paid $1.99 for it. I am going to resell this one because I am trying to just stick to the England tins and yeah, I really think it's quite gorgeous. Has a little bit of patina on it, which just adds to the character, I think. And yeah, so I thought that was really nice. I'll probably ask about maybe maybe around $14.99 for it with shipping included in the price. I just thought it was really gorgeous and someone would enjoy using that on their vanity for things. That's what I use mine for, so I got that. The other one I got is so adorable. It has this little cat, this little Sylvester black and white cat, and then he's sitting among this huge stack of books and there's like a little bird cage up here and it appears the bird is missing. So I don't know if he went up there and the bird found an escape route somehow and went away. I'm trying to see if the bird's anywhere to be found. I don't see the bird. Oh, he's on the top. <laughs> so I guess the bird escaped to the lid and he's very happy he did so. Yeah, but the cat and the books are on four different sides, I guess of cylinders have a side. And I paid $1.99 for this. It's in pretty good condition. I mean, it has some patina to it. The lid is a bit dented. Um, the inside's pretty clean. It's not too bad at all. So, you know, the lid basically is just the, has that one dent, which could possibly be popped out, but it never really looks the same after, right? But I really thought someone would just enjoy to use this as decor, because I mean, that image is just so cute. So anyone that likes cats and books, will definitely love this. Uh, I think, again, with the tins, this one is a little bit longer, so it'll cost a little bit more to ship just because of how they do it now with, you know, the size of things. So, you know, probably still around really that $13.99, $14.99 mark. Uh, maybe a little more after I see what the shipping will be, but yeah, I think that was a good find as well. The next thing I ended up getting is this pottery kitchen caddy piece. And I thought it was really cute. It has the red letters, which a lot of people like to do kitchens in yellow and red. It seems to be the most common colors other than now that people have switched to the farmhouse. Almost every kitchen's gray and white now, I guess. <laughs> but I think this still would look nice in there. I mean, it has the kind of off-white and then it has this black and tan speckliness throughout it. So I think it will pair very well. So this was $2.99 and I didn't notice in the store, but I noticed when I got home, there is a couple chipping issues to this. So it's very small, so one little small one there and then one again on the outside. I still feel comfortable listing it. It's really not that serious or that noticeable. I mean, I it took me looking like this to see it. So I think I can get about $22 for this. Uh, since it is chipped and I'll include free shipping in the price there, but I'm sure someone will enjoy that. Next up is the set of planter pots and they are a matching set. One's a little bit smaller here and they have these really beautiful dandelion images on the front. Now they are marked Japan in red underneath this and they have the little bases that the water can drain into. Now, I'm not sure the exact maker of these. They look like the Takahashi style ones, but I couldn't find any in the Dandelion specifically. And something that is pretty common with the Takahashi ones is you see how this edge here is just white. Typically this is, would be all brown. So I'm not sure if they're Otagiri perhaps. I really couldn't find if it was or not, but they are vintage Japan, probably from around the 1970s and still very cute. So it doesn't really matter who made them. I think the dandelions are super cute and a lot of people really do enjoy them. You can actually eat dandelion greens and maybe even the flowers. I know you can make jellies, I think with the flowers. I've never done it before, but I've always wanted to try. But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever tried to make any dandelion jams or anything interesting out of the dandelion. People think they're just weeds, but they actually are pretty good for you. Now, these I'm going to sell as a set on Etsy for, I think, probably around $28 and include free shipping. I'll see there how much it's going to, you know, cost with the weight-wise here, how much the shipping will be. But it might be a little bit more than that. It should be right around in that range, though. 
So this here I paid $1.99 for, and this is Takahashi. I love Takahashi pottery. They always have this beautiful floral here and this kind of speckliness that a lot of the Japanese pottery has actually, but I really like this. I have a couple of different size pitchers and the same style. So I am listing this one because I don't really use bud vases, even though I do really like this, but I thought someone else, you know, could enjoy that and maybe start their own little collection of this style so yeah I think I'll probably list this for around 18 to 20 dollars with free shipping so at this particular Salvation Army they always have a lot of one-off glassware that is vintage and my theory behind grabbing the single ones are I'm always afraid that nobody's gonna pick them up and they're gonna go to the landfill and I love vintage glasses so I don't like to leave them behind now this one cost me 99 cents and it is a vintage hazel atlas it is a nice frosted glass and this is part of the Charles Dickens series I believe there were six glasses total this one is Oliver Twist I believe there's three from Oliver Twist and then there's another three from uh, Christmas Carol with Scrooge in it. So yeah, I think these are super fun. Obviously, you know, having the full set, it's gonna sell better, probably more in the $50 range, but having just one glass is not bad either. I will list this one. I think I can get about $15.99 for the single glass with shipping included in the price. The other vintage glass I picked up was this Niagara Falls, Canada one, and it's in this brilliant black. It has the Maid of the Mist, Horseshoe Falls, Rainbow Bridge, and American Falls, Aero Car, and the Floral Clock. Now, I've been to Niagara Falls on the American side, but you know, if you go, you can obviously see the Canadian side from there. It's just over the river, right? So I've seen Maid of the Mist and the Rainbow Bridge. Uh, I'm not familiar with the other ones because they're probably in. Canada <laughs> which I have not been but I thought this was really nice it does have a gold rim which does have a little bit of uh, wear to it it's not too bad but because of that I probably will ask a little less now I think I can get probably about $13.99 to $14.99 with this shipped and anyone that's been to Niagara Falls and forgot to get their souvenir or just, you know, maybe they got engaged there or something and it just reminds them of good times, I'm sure they would enjoy a glass like this. So I, like I said, I went to the American Niagara Falls, so the Canadian one doesn't really resonate with me as much, but definitely a fun glass and I was happy to pick that up. So these next two items I picked up, I paid up for and while I was looking through them, every thing within me was telling me put them down walk away because $6.99 is not something you want to pay because I didn't really have a clue as to what they were and what their worth might be and I still don't I haven't really looked them up I'm a little bit nervous too honestly uh, I'm sure I could at the very least you know break even get my money back but I picked two that I thought would sell well because I personally like them so that's usually a good rule of thumb is typically what I pick up is just things I like anyways. I kind of just, you know, it's fun. I don't really want to pick up items that I don't, you know, I'm not really drawn to myself. Now, I, I don't believe these are Wade's. Uh, I had asked in my shop with me, my thrift along with me, if anyone knew about these. And a couple people mentioned Wade's. And Wade's typically as far as I know, always have a very matte color. They don't really have multiple colors to them. And I just think they look a little bit different, honestly. Now these are Bone China from Japan. I got this one because it was one of the few that was a set. Oh gosh. He's safe. <laughs> I got, is he not gonna stand? Are you serious? Maybe you have to lean him on a shelf. He's really not gonna stand. Oh, okay. He stands, sort of. Not cool, Salvation Army. Okay, he stands. You have to be very careful. I would, if you got him, I would lean him up against a shelf, put a cabinet over it or something. <laughs> put something in front of it so he doesn't fall forward. But it's these adorable little baby deer. Um, we got fawns and then this is the mama here. 
and yeah, it's super cute. And they have a little bit of green on the head, which I really liked, and the ears are pink on the inside, and of course they have little spots. So super adorable. Like I said, I grab ones that I wouldn't mind keeping myself if they don't sell, and you know, it's one of those things as a reseller, you don't like to spend a lot of money on things for yourself. I don't know what it is, but I feel like, you know, if you're another reseller, I'm sure you know what I mean. You're just, you just don't. <laughs> and you don't buy nice things for yourself. But yeah, this is really pretty. And I, you know, paying seven bucks for it, they wouldn't cost a whole lot to ship because they are tiny. I mean, I'd have to be careful with wrapping them as they, you know, want, don't want them to break. But I mean, he just survived a little bit of a fall there. So I think they're not too fragile. Uh, yeah, I think I'll try to double my money on them. I'll probably list them for, oh, maybe at least 22, you know, include shipping and the price and then, you know, double my money. So we'll see there and we'll see how it does for the set for about 2022. And I can always go down from there, I guess. But yeah, I thought that was fun to try anyways. The other one I picked up was similar. <laughs> I have a thing for deer and I figured with Christmas season coming up, it would be, you know, the best ones to pick. I think this one only had three. Yeah, there's only three inside here. Now, these are similar to this set, but they don't have any green on them. So this one is basically the same as the other, but it just has the pink ears and the spots on the butt. <laughs> it's a bug. Why is there a bug? It's October. Where did you come from? Ugh. And then this one here is, he's a little different than the other ones. I think their brown coloring on these are a little bit lighter as well. So still very cute. So far they're standing up. This one's kind of laying down anyways. And this one's just the little buck here with the antlers on it. So very cute. Thought that'd be a cute little set as well. That one I probably would list for but maybe around 18 since it is only three. And yeah, we'll give them a try. Hopefully I didn't, you know, overspend too much there, but it's always good to try new things, right? I did pick up this stained glass piece with the egret bird, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And it's some type of a heron, I guess. I'm not familiar with the bird. Some people commented that it might be from Southern Texas area. And I thought it was really pretty anyways. And I always love how stained glass Paint, even if it's painted. I'm not sure if this is technically stained or just kind of that painted gel, but it's still very pretty and sparkly. I think they look nice in windows and, you know, especially in the kitchen or something, you're washing dishes, you kind of just can meditate on it a little bit. You know, there's not much to stare at when you're hand washing dishes. So it's always fun to put something bright and colorful there. But yeah, I love the green and yellow to the, you know, image here. And I'm Got it for 49 cents. I don't really feel like I have to ask a whole lot for it. So I figured it was worth a try. Maybe around, I don't know, 13, $13 ish with free shipping included. We'll try it there. The next thing I picked up was this really nice gravy boat. I figured with the Thanksgiving and holiday season coming up, gravy boats are going to be in use, right? And high demand. Now, this is a Mikasa, which Mikasa items sell really nice on eBay. This will be listed up on my eBay. I, I'm not gonna do an auction on it. I'm just gonna list it regularly, probably for around 30 to $35. And um, so this is the country garden pattern. It just has this nice fruit and vegetable basket, or maybe it's just a vegetable basket. And yeah, it's a pretty nice design. And it does have the little base that comes with it, which you don't always find with the gravy boat. So it's kind of nice for easy cleanup, you know, catch the drips from dinner. So yeah, Mikasa is something I definitely always look out for. It's one of my bolos. And, you know, depending on the pattern, they can sell very well items like gravy boats, butter dishes, and you know, the large items like platters and dinner plates obviously are gonna sell a little bit better than if you get like the cups and saucers and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely a good one-off item to get. I like these bud vases here because I'm always a fan of these splattered paint and they were a set. So I figured they would be excellent to grab for resale. They are made in China, but they have the red stamped ones. So that is, you know, probably, a typical indicator of something that's a bit older, probably from maybe around the 80s, I would guess. Now, I paid, I think, 99 cents a piece, so $1.88 for this set, and I think I can get about probably 22 
maybe 25 they're a little heavy so maybe about 25 with free shipping included in the price so I thought those are really fun I really like the pink and the green colors to them I did pick up a few more figurines and this one was probably my favorite it's an adorable ballerina I thought she was really pretty it seems like every time I come across ballerina stuff I always gravitate towards it and I don't know why because I never did ballet and I was always surrounded by boys growing up I don't have any sisters so I never was really a girly girl. I was always kind of a tomboy. I didn't get the chance to do ballet, but I just feel like that's a typical little girl experience, I guess. And I figured someone that has a little girl that likes ballet would enjoy this. So I paid, I think $1.99 for her. And I think I can get probably about 22 to 25 with free shipping included. The next thing I got was this Angel's kind of kissing here votive candle holder and it's in this really nice muted blue and white color they have this nice glaze to it so they're a little bit shiny and I like that I like that a little bit better than the matte knickknacks this isn't particularly old probably from maybe the late 80s early 90s and yeah I thought this was really nice and would especially be nice for the upcoming Christmas season so I will list this probably for around $20, 2022, and include free shipping in the price. I paid $2.99 for this owl napkin holder, and I thought it was fun. It's very 1970s, and it looks like the eyes were a little bit hand-painted. There's a couple issues with it. Uh, the One of the petals of the flower where the eyes are, it's a little bit of yellow coming off there. It's not that serious. It almost looks like they had messed up a little bit and made it go over a little bit so it was on the nose and they didn't want it on the nose so they just kind of scratched it off and the other thing i saw was on the eyebrow there's a little little scuffing there i don't know it's it's sort of a chip but it's just like where the paint came off it's not it's raw but it's not like a chip chip and then there is a small tiny chip right on the back side of the ear there but other than that it's really fun I'm not gonna ask a whole lot for it because it does have a few issues, but I just thought someone would enjoy this, especially in the upcoming, you know, Thanksgiving fall season here. So I'll probably ask maybe about $18 for it and include shipping in the price. I paid 99 cents a piece for these adorable little boy and girl figurines. And I've been really drawn to this blue porcelain, like glazed porcelain stuff lately. I don't know why. I feel like I saw it a lot growing up in the you know 80s and 90s so maybe that is the reason I feel like this is a very 80s early 90s thing and yeah I just thought these are super cute maybe someone else has some nostalgia about it or maybe someone has a little boy and girl you know if I did I think I would keep them because I think that's cute but I have two boys so you know doesn't really do me much good <laughs> I think it's super cute and since there's two of them, I probably will ask about $28 and include free shipping in the price. Halloween season is wrapping up here, but I did pick up a couple more items. And this here is a nice little bucket and it was only 99 cents. I really just like the size of it and the imagery. So it has the jack-o'-lanterns that goes all the way around with some bats. I thought the coloring was great on it. And I think, there's something inside this. <laughs> I'm a little frightened. What is inside this? Should I even open this? It doesn't want me to see what it is. Oh, okay. That's weird. So someone stuffed this bear inside of there. I don't know if someone that donated it and they just didn't know or someone put it in there, but... Uh, yeah, I got this <laughs> little tutu waist bear. I I wouldn't have bought this, but I, I have this now. <laughs> I'll probably just toss it in the booth. I don't really know what to do with that. But I thought this was a good, you know, little bucket to use for Halloween decor. I actually am going to toss this in my antique booth since it is running a little bit, you know, into the Halloween season, you know, and I think it'll sell quickly in my booth. So I'll probably just put, I paid 99 cents for it, probably put about 
oh, maybe $8.99 on it. Try it there. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. And the other Halloween item I picked up was this really cool tray and they were asking 99 cents for it. I just thought it was nice that it had all the different costumes, you know, Halloween character costumes on it. I actually think I wanna list this up on my Etsy. I just think it's really fun and it probably will sell okay, um, you know, pretty quickly, I think. You know, we still got about a week and a half, so I think it'll go okay. Now, with that said, I am going to do a Halloween sale in my Etsy shop. I'm gonna do 20% off. So I will link the discount code in the description below as well as the links to my stores if you guys want to go check it out. If you're still hunting for some Halloween items, definitely plug in that code and you can get some, you know, a good discount off of the Halloween items I have listed currently. I did pick up a few things for myself and I'll share those with you now. The first thing was the set here. I got this for my kids. It was $1.99 and it has a bunch of little flip books that has numbers and shapes. So it'll have the number six on the top and then you can count out the marbles to help you, you know, figure out that it's six. They have the blocks and it writes out, you know, the word six and the word blocks. And then I think there's one more page. There are thicker pages Then it has the dots where you can count it out. And again, the word six and then the six marbles, which the marbles were on the front. So they all are kind of like that and they also have them in the shapes. So it has the pizza with the triangle and then just says triangle and like that. And then it has like the dotted line triangle and then it shows there's a tree that's shaped like a triangle, the word tree. And then again, the pizza on the back. So there's a bunch of those. It goes up to one to 10. So I picked up a couple items for myself for my own personal collection. One being a Pyrex casserole dish. This is missing the lid. Now, I don't find Pyrex too often in the wild. I, that is where I tend to like to purchase. I don't really seek it out on eBay and stuff like that. It's just fun for me to be able to collect it in that manner. Green and blue are two of my favorite colors and those are the ones I'm typically really seeking out. So I was especially happy to find this Spring Blossom one. They only priced it $3.99 and I, like I said, I don't find Pyrex in the wild too often. I'll find it at Goodwill sometimes and it'll either be really damaged or severely overpriced, like ridiculously overpriced, but I don't see it a whole lot, right? So this was a good deal. Now Spring Blossom is one of the patterns of Pyrex that was, you know, the runnest, long, runnest, longest running patterns. And, you know, it went for about a decade. So this came out in 1972 to 1979, and it came out in two different styles. So the first style is this one here, okay? So this is that version. The next version of Spring Blossom that came out was from 79 to 1981, I believe. And it'll look the same, but they'll actually be bigger daisies. If you guys, I don't have, no, I don't think I have a piece to show you guys in my collection of that style. If I ever do, I will show you, but the flowers are much larger. The same look, but the white flowers are much bigger. So that is the later version of Spring Blossom. As you guys know, they also have this as a Pyrex Corel compatible. So they have the Corel plates in this pattern as well, which, you know, I collect as well. So yeah, that was definitely a good find there. The other thing I couldn't resist because I am a kid of the 80s and 90s is this little Care Bear. It's a ceramic hand-painted Lucky Bear. He has little googly eyes, which I thought was kind of funny. And I paid $1.99 for him. I have this kind of 80s theme in my office. So I pick things up like this every now and again. Another thing I really like about this particular thrift store is their books. They always have lots of vintage books. And I tend to gravitate more towards the children's books. I found this really cool Humpty Dumpty magazine ones, which I've never seen before. They are from the 1970s. I think they had older versions as well, but these ones here are from 72, I believe. And they had, I think three or four there. Some was scribbled in and one just didn't look that interesting to me. But these are the two I thought looked interesting. 99 cents a piece they had on them. This one is Nature's Storybook and it just has different animals and kind of talks about them. So 
They are kind of unusual animals, I guess. I guess maybe not the woodpecker, but I thought this one looked kind of fun there. And then this one is really cool. This has like science experiments for kids in it. So I will definitely give this a little quick read and write down some ideas that I might be able to use with my boys, but I do plan to resell these. So I don't think I can get a whole lot for them, but for the set of two, I think I can get about $13.99 and you know, include shipping in the price. So that would be the price shipped. But yeah, lots of cool experiments there to look through. And yeah, I thought those were fun. So I never had heard of those. Then I found a bunch of little golden books. I've been picking those up like crazy the last few years since I've had kids and just trying to collect them here and there. Now, I do plan to resell some in the somewhat near future because I have quite a bit of a collection and I need to go through and make sure I don't have any repeats. And if there's some that I read to my kids and they're just not interested in them, I will go ahead and let them go. So the first two I'm gonna share with you are actually the oldest ones I got. Most of the other ones are from the 1970s. These two are old. <laughs> I was surprised when I saw the dates when I you know, got them home and actually looked at them a little bit better. Now, a lot of times they'll have the price up on the corner, you know, the original price, and this one is 39 cents. So, you know, the lower the price, the older they're gonna, you know, they're going to be. This one is the little Christmas tree, and I just thought it'd be cute to put out for Christmas time, even for decor, and has beautiful imagery in it. Now, this one here is actually from 1954. Isn't that great? And it has several pages that are ripped, you know, at the bottom. And I'm always amazed that these being children's books, that they're not in worse condition because I've seen my boys with books, particularly my oldest when he was probably two or under. If you had paper style books, they would do the same thing. You just turn the pages, they're very rough and they would rip. So if I ever see these books in you know good condition, I'm always shocked because they are kids books, right? So there's just a few pages that are ripped, but nothing too serious, but the images in here are great. And yeah, so I was definitely surprised that that was that old and it only has minor damage. So the cover itself doesn't even look that bad. The binding's a little bit, but very cool. The next book I got is actually a little golden book. The last one wasn't technically a little golden book, but it was a vintage book, right? Now this one is pretty beat up, but it's Pinocchio. And my kids kind of like that story. And I've always kind of, you know, been drawn to it. I think it's a, you know, a very... You know, I've seen the movie recently and I was surprised at some of the more adult, you know, theme. There's like smoking in it and stuff like that. But it has a good, you know, at the heart of it, there's a good story there. So this one is, you know, it looks like it should be older. It's very beat up. And I was surprised. I kept looking to see if this was just a perhaps like a, you know, 10th edition or something like that, like a lot of the other ones are. But this, I couldn't find any other date on it and it says copyright 1948 and then 1939. So this is from 1948 and I was very shocked that I have a little golden book that is that old. So very cool there. And it's actually so old that I guess they didn't have the prices like they do on the newer ones up in the corner, which is kind of interesting. The other interesting thing to me is there's a barcode on it and I'm, I'm not sure when the barcodes came out but it seemed like 48 would have been too early for that so it's very confusing but as far as I can see it looks like it's from 1948 so still very cool. The other ones I got are all from the 1970s and they're like 8th print or 10th print editions and the first one is the Alice in Wonderland one, you know, a classic there. So we didn't have that one. I was probably most excited to find this one, the Woody Woodpecker. I always liked him as a kid. I think this was from 78. And I think he's a very, very 1980s, you know, character. And I remember him as a kid. So I thought that one was fun. This one just seemed to be a very nice, you know, graphic on it, very outdoorsy, which I like. And it's the Big Brown Bear. It says 49 cents on it originally, and it is the seventh printing in 1975. So that is that one. This one I thought would look really nice to put out in Easter decor. 
So obviously we'll read it as well, but I thought it'd be good for that. There is, you know, a piece of tape there and stuff, but that kind of thing doesn't really bother me. Vintage things are meant to have some character and wear to them, right? And this one was originally from 1960, but this is from 1976. So that is that one. This one here is Duck and His Friends. Another good one to probably put out for Easter. It has like a little duck and a bunny on it. And then I was surprised that they had some Bible versions. I've never seen them before. So this one here is Heroes of the Bible. And then I had a couple more. Oh, we got Noah's Ark. And then S Stories of Jesus. And these would be good to put out for Christmas decor as well. So I got those ones. And then this one here is My Home. And I thought this might have been a lot newer because up in the corner it says 99 cents and I don't know why it was that much. My guess is this was the first edition, the first time this came out in the 1970s where a lot of the other ones were, you know, 7th or 10th printings and maybe that's why they were a little bit cheaper. So where it was a newer story, I guess they charged a little bit more. That was from the 70s as well. This one here is the Country Mouse and the City Mouse. So thought that one might be kind of fun. It says, and other Aesop's fables as well. So that is that. And this one was probably one of my favorites because it's a little children's dictionary and it has, you know, lots of pictures inside of it. I'll show you real quickly here. So yeah, just all the different words and, you know, concentrates on, you know, a page each of the letters. So that's nice. They can have different options that they might resonate with when they're learning their letters and, you know, word association with the letters instead of just the typical A is for apple and B is for ball, right? So I thought that would be fun to get as well. I'm sorry this video ended up being a little bit long. I just didn't really feel like splitting it up into two videos. I hope you guys didn't mind and I hope you enjoyed the video. So please hit that like button if you did. Stay tuned. Tomorrow I am actually going to post not one but two videos. I'm going to do a couple yard sale shop along with me in hauls since I had a bit of a stretch here of uh, time off you know unfortunately <laughs> due to some family issues so thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more content like this for me in the future and we'll catch you in the next one bye <laughs>